Hey, good day, guys. It's Sunday, the 22nd of January, 2023. Looking at Aptos, and I believe Aptos has hit its local target. So I, th I think there will be a bit of a resistance here, and the candlestick pretty much shows that I'm sort of on the on the right track. What I did was with this scenario is I put that as one, put zero. I don't have my log settings on, and I hit the 1.618. 1.618 Fibonacci or um, sorry or the extension 1.618 now obviously I I'm slightly massaged that just to the body of that candle and that got me the 1.618 Fib extension from the swing low to the swing high to the swing low so I've got that Fib extension as well as if I did it from that perspective the one it's, it's pretty much 1.618, and you've got the reaction. So if you look up close, you can see that reaction. It's a bit of selling pressure. Now, what's likely to happen from this point is I don't think it will go down much, but that candle is a clear sign of rejection, and so there's a bit of profit-taking. Now, the question is how, how much of the bulls are going to come in. What we can do is... Unfortunately, this is really bullish. And so we're looking at potentially, okay, so we can see that's slightly acting as a resistance, so 236, until we'll break that. I don't think, anyway, the, the whole idea is this area is profit-taking and we already dropped a, a certain percentage. And if you look at it so far, it's 8%, not much. But when we look at it closely, um, I do feel like, so if this is our BC area and our automatic response, I do feel like this, this can come down. Yeah, I do feel like the 618 could work. And then, so we'll go to ABC correction type of thing and then back up. We might, might even do it from here. So I do feel like this is going to come down, get a response, maybe continue up. This is really parabolic, but I, th I feel like the, the middle of this point of control might be the one. So this is my box that I'll be looking for another entry. So I've taken a bit of profit, a um, bit late, but I still took a little bit of profit and I'm going to accumulate from this. So if it comes down more, I'll use that same profit money just to accumulate more up to us. And uh, so be it. So obviously, I'd like to see the response, but that, that's what I'm having at the moment. So I've, you're going to reuse my profit, and I'm already slightly ahead, so I could be able to get more coins. But that's what I have based on that. Now, when we look at it from a 12-hour chart, give us a sec. Let's just clean that up. Now, if we are to remain bullish, uh, there is another way of looking at this, and I will put in, I would be putting my 618 there or the 0.5, and then you can see how that also lines up. So I put my 618 right at the, the previous top. This is not always working, but the ones there, so again, even that works well. So let's just hide that for a sec. And let's get rid of that. Now, if this was to continue, so I feel like we'll, we'll just go a bit of a sideways here, and it could be a reversal. But if it was to go up, um, I'll be looking at this, this level, mainly that one there. So, geez, that's pretty high, isn't it? $19 from $3, okay. So I do feel like this is going to be a topping off structure a bit, and we've got our layers on the four hour. So we, we're just going to range here, I reckon, before we go up or go down. But I, I feel like this will go up more. Bitcoin's got much more to go. So that's what I've been looking at, close to the $20 range. Um, psychological, $19.6. Yeah, nineteen point six dollars is likely to be another strong position to pull back. 
using this method that works in the past with some other coins. Anyway, it's not easy to do this. Um, we're not in a bull market. If this was a reversal on a pretty bull market, we're, we're going to beat this easily $22. But we're just going to look for trading opportunities as we go. So um, I'm going to leave it at that. Hopefully that gives you some idea on how to approach this market. Talk to you soon. Cheers.